Take some time if you want to go like to the other side uh, via bike or if you're walking or whatever, if you're going by car. Um, with this you can go to the south side very easily and quickly. I mean essentially the idea is we want to have more uh, more green technology in the maritime industry and uh, uh, as well uh, we, we also see this huge potential in uh, bigger cities where we don't uh, use the waterways as much as we perhaps could and probably should. Uh, so for people's infrastructure in, and passenger infra infrastructure to uh, be able to move around the city uh, in a more open and easier way uh, without having to build bridges or uh, expensive subways and tunnels and such, uh, we can move towards a more environmental friendly way of uh, moving people around the town. Uh, and then you have... Um, we have sensors, um, we have radar, lidar and cameras and we use those to build up a situational awareness um, for the captain. So essentially giving him an extra pair of eyes um, and we're using that inf information um, in, the, in our collision avoidance algorithms and path planning algorithms and we're planning out the path, setting the speed for, for the vessel um, and all the operator needs to do is press, press one button and it, it will uh, close the hatches and it will transit over to the other side and dock there by itself. I think the, the issue with Autonomy is uh, that it uh, many times we talk about autonomy and unmanned uh, sort of in the same sentence and uh, uh, autonomy in my view is the, the technical side that it is possible and favorable to uh, to run it without to, someone having to uh, to steer and so on but uh, if a platform uh, in the public transport at sea or at land should be without uh, a conductor or uh, uh, someone. That is, uh, that's another question, I think. Autonomy interface, one dedicated for, uh, for vessel and steering interface, and then we have uh, one dedicated just for seeing the uh, thrusters. But if we want to, we can also duplicate this. Uh, but we can also switch on autopilot and all different kinds of basically everything that has to do with the steering system we can control from this panel. So the primary role of uh, the captain is as always safety first, making sure that the vessel is, uh, is worthy of going out to sea and uh, uh, then of course during the testing phase it's a lot about figuring out how we want to interact with the vessel, optimizing the road and uh, uh, making sure that everything works as it should. Uh, over time we see a possibility where we maybe control uh, or monitor the vessel from land, but due to regulations we're always going to have a person on board until uh, we've established uh, safety systems to be able to take someone off.
Well, I think it's good that it is electric for the environment. Uh, I live close by here, uh, and I and I, I will not use it, you know, for my own transport to work or so because it's just for fun for me. So, uh, well, I'm. I think it's nice, and I'm doing this just for fun. <laughs> In Stockholm there has been uh, a lot of discussions for many years about uh, using the, the waterways uh, more efficiently for shortcuts and also to uh, improve the, uh, the options for longer bike journeys. Uh, so I think uh, this is well in line with the development that at least has been a hope for, uh, for a long time.